Hello children. For class 9, the topic today is Heron's formula. Okay. Now, uh, to find the area of a triangle, the formula we have learned in the lower classes is area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height. Correct. So, if the height is given, we can find the area of a triangle. Just say we have a right triangle. Right triangle, just say the altitude is 4 centimeters and the base is 3 centimeters. Then what happens, since this is 90 degrees, we can say this is my height and this will be my base. So what is area of triangle? Area of triangle, say let's name it A, B, C. So area of triangle A, B, C is equal to half into base into height. That is half into base is 3 into height is 4. If I cancel, I will get 6 centimeters square. So this we can find when the height is given. Just say height is not given. Even then, in case of a triangle like this, equilateral triangle, just say we have an equilateral triangle of side 8 centimeters. You say you have A, B, C of side 8. Now we know in an equilateral triangle, the altitude will bisect the third side. So this 8 centimeters will become 4 here and 4 here. So in this triangle, we have a right triangle once again. Now if we have a right triangle, we can find the height and then use half into base into height. How would I find the height? I have to use which formula? Pythagoras formula. So what is Pythagoras formula? AD squared is equal to AB squared minus BD squared. So what is AD squared equal to? AD squared will be equal to AB squared will be 8 squared minus BD squared will be 4 squared. Correct. So you get 64 minus 16. So what is AB equal to? Root of you get 8 and 48. So you get root of 48 for AD. Now can we find the area of the triangle? Therefore area of triangle ABC is equal to half into base into height. Now what is my base? Base is 8 into height will be root 48. So when we cancel we will get the answer will be 4 root 48 centimeter square. So this will be my answer for area of triangle because what will it be 4 into root 48 centimeter square. So this will be my area of triangle in case of an equilateral triangle. The same way we can find for an isosceles triangle also because in an isosceles triangle also the altitude will bisect the third side and so we can use the same method. Now supposing it is a scalene triangle. Okay. Now in case of a scalene triangle, supposing we have a triangle like this. We have here say 8 centimeters, here we have 11 centimeters and here 13 centimeters, A, B, C. Now when it is a scaling triangle, we cannot find the height in any way. So we have to go for another formula. Now this formula for the area of a tri scaling triangle was given by Heron. Heron was a um, Egyptian, uh, Egypt, uh, I mean from Alexandria, no? he was a mathematician from Alexandria who gave a formula. This formula is also known as Hero's formula. Okay, Hero's formula or Heron's formula. Now this formula is given as area of triangle is equal to root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C where S is equal to semi perimeter. What is semi perimeter? Adding all the three sides and dividing by 2. That is A plus B plus C by 2. That is the semi perimeter. Okay. And 
where A, B, C are the three sides. So this is the formula that Heron had given and it is known as Heron's formula or Hero's formula where we find the area of a scaling triangle. Are we okay with this? Now let us see how we can use this formula to find the area of this triangle. Okay, now first we have to find the uh, semi-perimeter. Now what is the semi-perimeter going to be in this case? A is, say let us say 8 plus B is so we'll say this is A, this is B and this is C. So what is B equal to 11 plus C is equal to 13 by 2. So what will you get here? 8 plus 11 is 19. 19 plus 13 is, uh, for, for what will that be? 20, 24 plus 8 is 32. 32 by 2, that is 16. Have you got it? Right. So, this is my semi perimeter. Now, let us see how we can substitute in this formula. So, therefore, area is equal to root of S. S is 16 into 16 minus A. A is 8 into 16 minus B. B is 11 into 16 minus C. C is 13. Okay, so this is my formula. Now let us see how we can continue. So when you see, you'll get therefore area is equal to root of 16 into 16 minus 8 is 8 into 16 minus 11 is 5 into 16 minus 13 is 3. Okay, so what will you get? Root of 16 into uh, 8 fives are 40, no? 40. Okay, now instead of this, let us uh, see how best we can factorize. So this will be 16 will be actually 4 into 4 and 8 will be, what will it be? 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 3. Okay, so what will you get here? Now, when I take the square root for this, I can take out 4 as a uh, outside the radical sign. And for this pair, I can take out 2. And the remaining will remain inside. What is that? 2 5s are 10. 10 3s are 30. So, what will my answer be? Area of the triangle will be equal to 8 root 30 centimeter squared. Did you understand how to find the area of a uh, scaling? triangle. Okay. Now this sum, this uh, formula is very easy and there are only few types of sums here. Otherwise it is just going to be the standard uh, substitution of the formula. Let us see another sum where the area, uh, the perimeter is given and they ask us to find the area of a triangle. Okay. So let us see. Can I clean? So let us see. Find area of triangle where uh, whose sides whose sides are just say they give you only two sides 18 and 10 okay just say 18 centimeters and 10 centimeters and uh, perimeter is 42 centimeters. Okay. So some uh, there are those two or four sides. Okay. Only two sides are given. Now when two sides are given, how can we find the third side? We can find the third side by adding these two and subtracting from 44. Yes? 42. So what will you get? Therefore, uh, you can say let A equal to 18. B equal to 10. Now we have to find C. C is equal to 42 minus 18 plus 10. Correct? So what will you get? 42 minus 28. And how much is that? 42 minus 28 will be 14. Correct? So you will get 14 centimeters here as the third side. So we have got C as 14. Did you understand how I got the third side? 
the third side I obtained by subtracting the sum of the two sides from the perimeter. Do you understand? So, let us see how we can do this sum now. So, we have got all the three sides. Let us do the area of the triangle. So, we can draw one triangle just say. So, we have a triangle. A, B, C. One is 18 centimeters and one is 14 centimeters. Something like this. Okay. So now we have got this. Now let us see. Now perimeter is given to me. How much? Perimeter is equal to 42 centimeters. So now what is therefore what is S? S is the semi perimeter. What is semi perimeter going to be? We don't have to add everything because it's already added here. So 42 by 2 that is 21. So we have got S. So therefore area of Triangle ABC is equal to root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. So let us see how we can solve it. What is S? S is 21 into 21 minus 18. 18 is A and B is 21 minus 10 and C is 21 minus 14. So what will you get here? Root of 21 into, now 18, I mean 21 minus 18 is 3, 21 minus 10 is 11 and what is 21 minus 14? 7. Okay, now what, what can we split 21 as? 3 into 7 into 3 into 11 into 7. Now you take out for this 3, you take out one 3 outside. And for this 7, you take out that pair, you take out 7 outside and root 11. So my answer will be 21 root 11 centimeter square. Why is it centimeter square? Because it is the area. Did you understand how to find the area of a triangle when the perimeter of the triangle is given and two sides are given? Let me give you a recap. When the perimeter is given to be 42 and 2 of its sides was given as 10 and 18, we can find the third side by adding these two and subtracting from the perimeter. So, with the adding these two, we get 28. 42 minus 28 will be 14. So, I've got the third side. Once I've got the third side, we only have to direct substitution and do it. S is also easy to find because perimeter is given as 42. So semi-perimeter which is S is equal to 42 by 2 which is equal to 21. I hope you understood how to find the area of a triangle using Heron's formula. Now there is one more type of sum that you should know. Just say the three signs instead of given, being given, they are given as a ratio. Okay, let us see how that goes. Okay, they just say... We take a sum where um, the find area of triangle whose sides are in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 7 and whose perimeter is equal to 300, 300 meters is it. Okay, now we know when it is a ratio, we can take the three sides to be what? We can take, let the three sides be 3x comma 5x comma 7x. We multiply by a common factor. Okay, now how do we get perimeter? Perimeter is the sum of the three sides. Correct. That means, what do you get? 3x plus 5x plus 7x is equal to 300. Okay. So, what does that become? That is, 10, 15x is equal to 300. That is, x is equal to 300 by 15. That is, 20. Now x is 20. So what are the three sides? 
Therefore, a is equal to 3x. That is 3 into 20 is 60. 60 meters. And what is b equal to? 5x. That is 5 into 20. That is 100 meters. Okay. And the third side is 7x. So, c is 7x which is equal to 7 into 20, 140 meters. Now we have got all the three sides. Now we have to do the uh, area. Let us substitute in the sum. Okay, now first we are, uh, can I clean this part? Okay, so when it is in ratio, this is how we will do it. We will take it as 3x, 5x and 7x and find the value of x, then find the three sides. Now you know the three sides. So what is S equal to, therefore, S is equal to semi-perimeter. Now, the perimeter is 300. So, 300 divided by 2 will be 150. Now, let us substitute and find in the area of triangle. Area of triangle is equal to root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. So, what is that root of? Now my semi-perimeter is 150. 150 into 150 minus A. What is my A? 60 into 150 minus B. B is 100. Okay. And into 150 minus C is 140. Okay. Now let us see how we can solve this. So that is equal to root of 150 into 150 minus 60 is 90, correct? Into 150 minus 100 is 50 into 150 minus 140 is 10. Now, we have to find the factors of all these numbers and then find the square root. Okay, now let us see how we can do this. Now this 15, actually this 150, we can write it as 3 into 5 into 10, correct? 15 into 10 is 150. Now what is 90 going to be 9? That is 3 into 3 into 10. 90 is 3 into 3 into 10. Now what is 50 going to be into 5 into 10? And here we have another 10. Now when I uh, take out the pens, let us see what we get. So for this 3, we have a pair. So I can take it out. Correct? Now for this 5 also, there is a pair. So we can take it out. Yes? Then for this 10, I have a pair. So 10. Then for this 10 also, I have a pair. So into 10. Now everything has a pair except this 3. So I will put root 3. So what will I get here? 3 into 5 is 15. 15 into 10 is 150. 150 into 10 is 1500 root 3 meter squared. So this is my area of the given triangle. So you can find the area of a triangle even if the sides are given in a ratio and the perimeter is given. I hope you have understood children. Stay home, stay safe, have a nice day. Thank you.